So regal, so classic. The prices were amazing. <laughs> So I heard there's a really amazing pre-loved Chanel shop around here in Saint Tropez. Hello. Do you sell any bags? Maybe Chanel bag? Oh yes, I love that one. I love that one. Thank you. Can I have this one? Okay, here's my money. No. Oh, you want actually proper, proper money? Bye, Nia. Okay. Here's my money. Oh, thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank you for my bank card. Thank you. Bye. It is so humid. I wanted to film when um, it got it got cooler. It's nearly 7 o'clock and it's still so hot. So, good news for you. It's going to be a short vlog because I've done what I always do when I come here. I haven't picked up my camera once. Like I haven't even barely blow-dried or brushed, brushed my hair. Um, and we're going home in the morning and I really wanted to show you all the things I've bought because we've bought some really so humid some amazing things from supermarket to Saint Tropez market to all the local shops I've got all of my garden furniture and finding garden furniture is so so hard and I'm so happy with the garden furniture that I have um probably should have brushed my hair so I'll start off with the vlog soon as I'm here with this it's Honoré's birthday in a couple of weeks and we picked this up at the supermarket and we thought it was half the size and hence why we've put it in front of the house but we've got a lot of land at the back here and there's like lots of land in between our house and the guest house and it's always shaded so we're going to move that over there because it's a bit of a monstrosity in front of the terrace but that's what we picked up at the supermarket that's all the bits that Paris has been doing then I picked up these at the supermarket can you believe that um the house is still a mess, but we can't really do any more because we've been meeting with so many builders. You know how hard it is to get a good builder and because we're doing a whole renovation, it really, we've just been meeting builder after builder, but we're nearly there. So this table, the previous owner has already left, which I love, and I'm really obsessed with uh, metal furniture. And I can't believe these were like 23 euros from the supermarket. Um, and then I'll tell you about the cushions because they were actually so hard to find. So four chairs from the supermarket. They won't be going here. I'm going to put them in like a situation like here with all the green. Um, then we will talk about this in a second. That's not just been there randomly. I just bought it out. Now we're going to sit down. Hello, baby. <laughs> you okay? He's sitting on one of the sun lounges, but he's naked as always. So let me introduce you to my new garden furniture. I am obsessed, so obviously we're in progress. This is actually the driveway from what we call as the car park. Um, it is not meant to be here at all, but the reason why it's here is because it's going in our pool house that is not built, so there's no point dragging it all the way to the pool, and this is this has actually been perfect because you've got the shade from this olive tree. Um, Honoré always plays on the ter terrace here to the left. I can't show you because he's literally sitting there naked on the towel playing with his toys. Um, and whilst all the building work's going on, like we, they've started to clear the pool area, this is actually such a beautiful setup. I mean, it's not, not bad, right? Uh, but this will go in the pool house. Also, the cushions that you see are just, these are actually temporary sun lounger cushions, but they actually really comfy, as you can see. So this is from a brand called Hedida. I did read it's got a really cute name one of the own well not it's the couple that own this brand i can't wait to sit down and tell you about it but i read that their son come up with the name really cute meaning so we're going to sit down and have a little chat but i am so obsessed i just wanted to give you a proper view like this um and then let me go show you the sun loungers because on a sprawled across too let me quickly go show you that okay this isn't my normal setup but it is pretty amazing so that's been my setup the last five days I can't believe how bright it is for seven o'clock. So this actually works quite well because the sun is comes that way and Honoré plays on the steps so I can be really close to him. And I've got the roses and the house to the right. Although this isn't where they're going to be, they're all going to be, all of this greenery is, is coming away. And as you know in previous vlogs, we're gonna have the four lounges here, the pool house here, so all of that greenery will go. We're gonna plant more cypress trees on this side. Um, 
yeah, pool house with that sofa set you've just seen. Two parasols there, so that will be the normal setup, and we'll have like a security fence, like a pretty one. This is um, the sun lounger. I am totally obsessed. I'll show you it without. Um, I'll show you it without that actually, because then you can see the beautiful detail. Has anyone seen the film Bangkok Hilton? Because when I saw this like one o'clock in the morning one night when I was searching for garden furniture. That's what it reminded me of, like a 1920s. It literally looks vintage to me, but it's brand new. And these are the best quality parasols. This is also from Hedida. They don't, I'm not even sure about their shipping um, outside the UK, but I was going to say they helped me, but they, they literally did everything. They arranged all the delivery. Um, but I'll talk about the details, but this is the best quality parasol. It's like in between those boho ones, but the really good quality classic ones. I can't believe I have a two in one. I'm definitely going to get one of these for at home in England because they're the best, definitely the best quality. But that's how the sun lounger looks. We have four of them with two of the tables. And I should probably tell you as well that I have a discount code. It's CC10 and you get 10% off anything on the Hadia website. But let's go and have a little chat. I was just walking back, but that's the, from this end. So beautiful, isn't it? I'm so in love with them. But we're gonna sit down now and I'm gonna show you all what I've been buying whilst I've been here. And the roses are so nice. It's, it was so hot the last couple of days, so I think they're wilting. Is that the right word? Um. But yeah, it gets too hot for them, so June is the most perfect time when all, all the flowers are in bloom. How typical that I sit down to talk to you when someone's cutting down a tree. Um, okay, now I'm going to show you everything I bought and tell you more about the furniture. Everything will be linked below. I have a discount code for you. Any disclaimers, um, just to disclaim everything you see here I bought. Um, and then there's anything gifted or anything you need to know, it will always be disclaimed in the description box below. So this furniture, Hadida, I hope that's how I'm saying it, it's a South African bird, that's what it's named after. And it is the most beautiful brand. And whenever I take hours finding something, I always want to share that so it can help you not waste any time. It took me so long so obviously this is our second summer here at the house and the whole summer we were here for like a month and we were here for two weeks we had no furniture i went to all of the shops locally i really thought that in south of france they would have better furniture outdoor furniture than what we do in england because obviously the south of france a lot of people have garden furniture i really struggled here it was even more expensive than at home so did anyone notice i'm sure you did that during covid get some worried saying that word the garden furniture went extortionate. So all of like the high street brands that we love, like Next and all of these places, they became the still affordable prices compared to the market, but they were like what you'd get luxury furniture for. So I was really shocked. We still don't have anything at home either in, in, uh, in the UK. And I was looking for hours and hours and days and months and I wouldn't settle so last year we literally had nothing we have this old horrible table that the previous owners left and one antique lounger that we would always share and I came across Hedida like probably one o'clock in the morning scrolling on my phone and it was love at first sight so this is the sun lounger that I came across it's their white sprayed one and then I, I learned afterwards when I was speaking to the team because it's such a small team so you get really good customer service um, it's owned by a couple and a lady called Kate it's just such a beautiful brand so that made me even more excited and they told me that you could get them sprayed any color so I saw on the website the white because I was I was only looking for white furniture and right at the last minute with the help of the team I went with this natural colour which you can't go wrong it's super classic but and then I wanted to see how the quality was how I liked it and then I'll order more because we're making a terrace um, we're making a terrace off our master bedroom and that I'm going to go for a colour and they do pink which I'll put here and I was toying between the two but then I might get it sprayed baby blue so any colour you want baby blue sage green black they can spray you just give them the paint details and they will spray it how exciting is that I'm really tempted to go all pink in um in the house in England cheeky cheeky's like running around naked everywhere <laughs> Paris is naked why are you both naked are you at one with nature yeah said yeah 
Um, I think they're going to go swimming, so you might hear them in the pool. Um, so they literally organised everything for me to have it delivered here. Um, where was I at? Naked boys running in the back of my um, sun loungers. Yes, so the sun loungers, I can be completely honest with you, I was a little bit concerned about the fact that they don't recline. And even with that concern, there was nothing that come close. Like they, they were so unique looking. They're, they're literally like armchairs laying down. I kept thinking, how can this, like it's going to be fine. And then they've got the cushions. I can honestly say, I prefer it to the recliners because some like with the recliners you've got to get up all the time and it just works so well I can use it with just one of these and no pillow or I literally just put these with a the pillow and the towel on top and it is so comfy it's like literally like a bed it's so that is definitely no problem and you'll see because I'm going to order more of those lounges and not recliners for our terrace so that just proves how much I love them so if you're concerned about the reclining no it's fine the cushions work perfectly well it's actually even more comfy and you haven't got to worry about hands getting stuck so that was my only concern and that's amazing um, we've got the two paracels honestly the most higher end quality parasols I've ever seen and I love those bohemian ones with all the tassels like I have at home and this is in between so amazing quality but with the tassels um I have two of them which are, I don't know if we're gonna have one by the pool I just can't wait to style everything so we've got two of them we've got this sofa set with the table um we've got some cushions oh and I got these I bought these these I found in Saint Tropez I cannot wait to show you these I'm gonna moan about these towels that I bought and obviously you're going to see this so how beautiful are these these are trays and we're very much a tea and bed family uh brunch in bed family but also how nice by the pool like literally on the sun lounger and these they spray in pink and any color that you like i was tempted to get these done in baby blue but i'm happy with all the natural this is cane by the way this is not wicker um this is all, they're all handmade in Africa, which I'll get to in a second. I could literally talk for an hour, so I'll try and wrap it up. But I got two of these, like for guests, for us in the bedroom. Like, they just look so regal. I feel like everything looks regal. I do not want to use the word old money, but I follow this Instagram account called Old Money Club. And it just makes me, if you go and have a look at that, it reminds me of all of this. It's so regal, so classic. The prices were amazing. Like you can buy a lounger on its own or you can buy them in a set of two that comes with one of those tables. The prices are so amazing that I thought that it was gonna be a bit more flimsy than what it is. Uh, but Honoré's been jumping all over them and I haven't even stopped them because I, I really feel like the quality, they're a lot more robust in real life. I'm so over the moon with them. And everyone that I've shown pictures to, like my friends, They've all said, wow, like, I'm just so happy with them. Um, so yes, all handmade in Africa, um, in villages, like it really supports amazing artisans there and the owner, I read how she, she grew up half in Africa, half in England. It's such a beautiful story, really beautiful brand. You must check out everything. They do tiles, cushions, crockery, it's so beautiful, so many sofa sets, but you've got to check out the lounges. For me, the sun lounges are the most impressive. I have a discount code, CC10. It will give you 10% off anything on the Hadida website. I'm probably gonna use it myself to order a few more bits. So that's the furniture. You will see more of this when we come back again. And hopefully the pools in it are like a little bit more updated and I can show you how they are with the parasols. But this is how we've had them for the last five days. So you've seen the, the trays. Now, on the way home from the market, so the Sanctuary Market is every Tuesday and Saturday, I think. I always get there so late. I always get there with 15 minutes to spare, and for some reason end up somehow. It's like supermarket sweet for me. Um, so I got these in a furniture shop, and even though I had all my furniture, I still I still want to compare. And they had, oh, they had, I'll put up a couple of pictures. They had like your standard um just your standard garden furniture and the seat like this was 2000 2500 euros which i actually think is pretty good compared to the other prices i found this is even more better value like it's basically for the whole set was was less than what they were charging for one chair and it was really good prices um in that shop so um i, it, I was already set on that I'd made a good choice. 
sorry, I'm watching it. I'm so worried he's going to jump in the pool, but Paris is there. I'm in like mum mode. Um, I'm like looking at him half in my eye. Um, I was already happy, but that just made me even more happier. So anyway, I found these there. I can't show you them on because obviously I'm outside. Oh my God, she didn't even give me the light bulb. That's a bit stingy. So these were um, on display. She didn't have any more. They were 90 euros and I got two for the um, for our master bedroom and it's a really soft light. Sorry. Excuse me. Um, really stuff like because Honoré still wakes up in the night and he's still in the bedroom with us but um, yeah a nice soft light very south of France I mean who am I kidding I get shell stuff even from my house at home um, I also popped into one of the um, tablecloth I don't even know what it's called it's like a tablecloth shop in saint -Pay. I always buy things from there so I bought them I bought this random cooler um, I think I saw these on the website at Hedida that's what made me like this theirs are a bit nicer but i saw this in the supermarket and it's just for by the pool when we go to the beach just pick that up at the supermarket um right oh let me tell you about these towels so i saw some in england that i liked i will um link them below and i saw them in the shop but they only had two and the the what oh god um they were so luxurious and i couldn't order them online in time because i'm unorganized like this so i ordered these online to come to the house here and they're okay just for every day but the quality is awful like if i'd have seen these in real life i wouldn't have bought them but they're okay to take down to the lake or the beach like you know i don't want to take luxurious towels but i will link below the towels that i will be ordering for the lounges when we come back in the summer i'll definitely bring those out with me but i'll link these if you want like they're they're not good quality because the price is low so and i mean they're good for when you go out and about so I don't I don't love them now this so I only had 15 minutes at the um, actually let me put it here it's too far away so I only had 15 minutes at the Sancho pay market and I went straight to the guy that I bought my my trunk from last year and I wasn't gonna buy anything it was only if I saw something amazing but I ended up taking that trunk home and then I was like, mm, maybe I can keep one here. But to tell you the truth, I think I'm going to take it home again. I know I, I'm going to end up buying another one next year for this house. But the, I, it, I had to have it. It's a little bit more expensive than the normal trunks. And I'll show you why, if you can recognise. Oh God, there's no battery. So this is actually a briefcase. And the briefcases are more expensive than the trunks. Because they're, they're just more detail. And this is actually a special order. Um, and the normal trunks are a lot more slimmer than this one. This is a lot more deeper. It has the beautiful green colour. Oh, there's Paris's flip-flops. Um, and it has the two keys, which is really rare for the vintage trunks. Um, but can you see that beautiful green colour? And yes, it's a briefcase, not a trunk. So they're slightly more. Even though this is smaller than my last one, it was the same price. It was around 3500 something like that. Um, and it's wild that I buy a Louis Vuitton trunk off the market but um, I had to have it and it's the perfect size to stack on top of the other one or because this living room is smaller than at home I can always bring it back and it can go like on a coffee table here but seeing as this is not renovated for another year I'll definitely take it home with me so I won't be too long so I, I know that I like, like to talk too much but just a quick vlog to show you what I've been buying in the last few days really wanted to show you the Hedida garden furniture because it's not just the garden furniture they have so many beautiful things that you're going to love it's a family-run business supporting artisans in Africa quality is amazing price is so reasonable I had to tell you about it and I'm over the moon and you know how particular I am about anything I order like anything interior or fashion wise so I hope you found that useful I will link everything below in the description box um, and hopefully when I come back here, we'll have more progress to show you at the house. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to follow my home account as well, Claire Chanel Home. And of course, you already know my main account. Um, but I'm going to go in the pool with the boys. Half seven. Look, it's still amazing. It's me again. I was worried that I never told you. Like, I didn't want you to look at this. I was a bit hot yesterday. I was worried that you thought that this was the final look. Did I tell you this? Um... So these are sun lounger cushions just to be going on with and Hedida are making us 
the proper tailored cushion for this and it'll be ready for when we next come. Um, and then these are for the loungers but also for the sofa. Um, but we'll obviously have it all proper fitted. I didn't want you to look at it and think it looks a bit mishmash. This is obviously just to be going on with. Um, but we, we sat here all last night. We had a pizza. It was so lovely. It just feels so much more homely now that we've got furniture. I can't believe we did a whole summer without it. Um, and I also just want to quickly show you, we're doing a new setup with the pool today. We've got a old parasol that the previous owners left and it had a hornet's nest in. And they're still there, so we and we can't really move it. But um, yeah, can you see one there? So that we can't really move anymore because it's got a hornet's nest in, and they go crazy. But I've made a new little setup here just to give you and myself like an idea of how it's going to look. I also want to ask your opinion because you know I love to ask your opinion. I'm deciding between these stones. This is natural stone travertine, which I think I'm going to go for. It's not as durable as the man-made ones, but these are cooler. Ooh, paranoid about the hornets now. Um, so what do you think? I think I'm going to go for this or this in the pool. Definitely inside the pool because it will be more durable and I don't want to have to empty the pool and retile it. Um, so yes, for the pool, this one or this one? I'm thinking this one, the travertine look-alike, and then this around the pool. So, I have two more questions for you. We have opted for grass around the pool, so, so hot again today. So, there'll be a line of travertine all the way around, and we actually really wanted the grass. I love this look, I think it's really like Pro Provence, Hamptons, um, it's really safe while you've got young children and I thought whilst we've got young children always here Maybe if I decide I want to have tiles in the future at least it's because obviously Honoré runs around here And I'm always screaming stop running. So that's another reason why we wanted to go for grass however since we've received these samples and we spoke to the builder and you know like even the picture that I took here of this I'll insert the picture. I just think it looks nicer on slabs like more of a tiled off look so it's more like another room kind of so to speak so what do you think grass think of safety i love that nature look or tiles obviously with tiles we we will spend more money which i'd rather avoid but if it's the nicer look in the end i would obviously go for that my third option is to do what i call la tiles because i saw it on kardashians years ago i feel like this should i give you another view i feel like this is only nice for like american houses english houses i just don't find it very provence in this setting like it's so nature here I keep saying the word naturist which i know is not a word so do i put like a square don't forget the pool house is going back do i put a, an even rectangle of slabs grass or the LA grass, let me know. Uh, also let me know what you think we should use, the natural travertine or the look-alike, like around the pool. I think if we go for, I think I've already decided, I think I'll do that around the pool and then these for the slabs and that inside the pool. Probably won't use that one, but it is nice. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do my setup. I've explained to you about the, um, Again, the same as this. This is just to begin with, but I also love that they're like another option if we have guests and I'm not too worried, like they're easy to be replaced. Um, and then in the local village, we have a upholsterer that is, I got this special fabric from Saint-Tropez. I don't want to show you yet because it's going to be like a good four months until he fits us in. I've got all new lavender here. That's why it used to be a lot more bushy, but we ripped out all the dead lavender. I'm changing subject, I know. But all this is fresh lavender. Ignore this. It's what the previous owners left. I'm just clearing out. And then all lavender up there. And then this bush will be removed. Um, what was I saying? Yes, yeah, so I'm not going to show you, but I have a special printed fabric. I know, I don't normally do prints, do I? Um, I'm just going to sit here until I need to wait for that hornet's nest to calm down. Stay tuned for that. Make sure you follow me on Claire Chanel Home because all of these pictures will be up now. But I'm going to do a nice setup here.